Hi friends, it's Miss Julie here from the Deerfield Public Library. Thanks for joining me again for another story time. And our theme today is all about fish. So mostly books about fish with some other ocean animals included as well. So but before we get started, we have to do our opening rhyme, which is open, shut them. So let's get our hands ready. And it goes like this. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in, in, in. All right, nice job. So our first story today is called The Pout Pout Fish. It's written by Deborah Deason and illustrated by Dan Hanna and published by Farrar Strauss Giroux. <clears throat> Deep in the water where the fish hang out lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. Glum's like sad. And a pout is like, this is pouty face. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along, <clears throat> along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your crosstown frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend, nice thought, Miss Clam. I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl. Says the fish to his friend, Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a squid, quite a slender, squiggly sight. She is squirmy, she is squelchy, she is slightly impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope of mope, how about a smile, a little joy, a little hope? Says the fish to his friend, Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms, covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. Your hulky bulky sulking is an unattractive trait. Says the fish to his friend, Mr. Ape, my chum, with a mouth like mine, I'm destined to be glum. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Now along comes a fish in a silent silver shimmer. The gang has never seen before this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying, hey... She plants a kiss upon his pout, and then she swims away. Mr. Fish is most, aston most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He is stone-faced like a statue. Then he blinks and speaks at last. My friend, says Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought that I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kiss-kiss fish with a kiss-kiss face for spreading cheery cheeries all over the place. So I'll smooch, 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 smooch. Smooch. Oh, that's good. I'm so glad that he's happy now. Okay, now we're going to do a flannel story, and it's called Five Little Fish. So let's put them all up. Ready and count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five little fishies swimming near the shore. The red fish took a bite, and then there were four. Four little fishies swimming in the sea. The orange fish ran away, and then there were three. Three little fishies in the ocean blue. The pink fish took a seahorse ride, Wee! and then there were two. Two little fishies swimming in the sun. The yellow fish swam too far, and then there was one. One little blue fish, now you're all alone. I'll put you in my fishbowl and take you home. The end. Oh good, at least there, one gets to go be a pet. 
Okay, our next story is called Swimmy, and it's by Leo Leone. He did the pictures and the illustrations, and it's published by Pinwheel Books. <clears throat> a happy school of little fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was as black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. One bad day, a tuna fish, swift and fierce and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all the little red fish. Only Swimmy escaped. <clears throat> he swam away in the deep, wet world. He was scared, lonely, and very sad. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures, and as he swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy was happy again. He saw a Medusa made of rainbow jelly a lobster who walked about like a water-moving machine, strange fish pulled by an invisible thread, a forest of seaweeds growing from sugar candy rocks, an eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember, and sea anemones who looked like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Then, hidden in the dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish just like his own. Let's go and swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must think of something. Swimmy thought and thought and thought. Then suddenly he said, I have it. We are going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. He taught them to swim close together, each in his own place. And when they learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, I'll be the eye. And so they swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun and chased the big fish away. The end. Oh, so Swimmy was so smart. He had a good idea. Okay, for our last story, this is one of my kids' favorites. It's called The Rainbow Fish. It's written and illustrated by Marcus Pfister. It's published by North South Books. <clears throat> a long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow Fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful, and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the Rainbow Fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day, he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish, but if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside, and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in their glare, and the octopus emerged from the darkness. <clears throat> I've been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales? Never. How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much. The little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. 
A little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scales flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had, possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish. And happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. And there he goes. The end. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. Um, before we go, we are going to do our goodbye rhyme, which is called We Wave Goodbye Like This. So get your hands ready. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye to all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Thanks so much for joining me to story time for story time today. Bye bye.